Hey, welcome back to class. In today's class, we're gonna learn a new strike, practice our previous strikes, and learn a few new combinations. So, let's train. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to review our previous strikes. So, starting off, let's go with our upward strikes. We're gonna go one, two, and three. So, upward strike number one. If you can, try to do it right before I say it. Try to remember what these strikes are. And now let's go to upward strike number two. Make sure that that circle is going up that center line. And upward strike number three. Now let's go ahead and move to downward strike number one. Go ahead. Make sure we're reaching out, extending that arm, making sure we're catching it so that this is horizontal and we're trying to catch it in that black every time. Let's go ahead and move on to downward strike number two. And sideways strike number one. Make sure we're doing that upward strike number three. Going right up that center line after we do our sideways strike. Make sure the sideways strike isn't coming from the hip over the shoulder, but it's shoulder line to shoulder line. Going completely horizontal. And let's go and practice variation strike number one. Go ahead. Remember it's just a downward strike followed by the first sideways strike. Down right to the center, loop it around, go to your sideways strike, and the upward third strike as you reset. I'm just gonna go right to that. Huh? Down, side, up. Down, side, up. Now what we're gonna do is I'm going to call out the strike. So we're still gonna keep reviewing those same ones, but I'm just gonna call out which one we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and let's start again with that variation number one. And we're gonna keep doing that until I call out the next one. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a time delay, so you have to remember what it is. And go to downward strike number two. Upward strike number three. Sideways strike one. Down strike one. Upward strike two. Upward strike one. Variation one. Up. 
up three. Side one. Down two. And take a break. Okay, so now we're going to learn sideways strike number two. Okay, so sideways strike number two, I call a lateral under over. So sideways strike one was our over under. So now we're gonna go under over. Of course, we're gonna try to catch it. Now from here, we're gonna bring the top hand over just like this for our reset. So we're not doing an upward strike three as a reset this time. We're just bringing the hand from one side to the other side and around again. Now, this is one of them where people hit the back of their head the most. So when you're doing this, the catching hand, I want you to just cup here. So notice how I have my thumb along my shoulder and then the back of my hand along my neck and my fingers are all the way up to my head. So as I do this, right, if I'm here, I protect that part of my head. I also wanna make sure that the thumb knuckle, right, this knuckle right here, is going and touching right in my armpit as I'm coming around. Bring it around. Bring it around. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm going to angle slightly downwards so that it goes under one shoulder and above the other shoulder. So I'm, it's not completely horizontal, but it is mostly horizontal. I don't want you to go here. All right, see this big 45 degrees? Oh, I hit myself in the head. What a surprise, okay? I want you to go mostly sideways, but it is slanting downwards as I'm doing this. And that slant downwards makes it so when it wraps around the backside, it comes in this upward direction, right? If I go too far down, I'll hit the back of my head. If I'm too up, right, then it goes lower and it's not going to actually clear my shoulder. So remember, if it's going one way, it wraps around the opposite way on the backside. So just gonna keep that in mind when we're doing this. This is also another one. If you don't have these chucks by now, the uh, official WNA chucks, go ahead and get them. This technique is significantly easier with these chucks than with the other even foam chucks, um, just based off the length. All right, this is gonna be a little bit longer. This material makes it a little bit lighter. It's easier. Trust me, you want these, especially when you start doing sparring, right? These are sparring chucks. They were made for sparring, so you could actually hit somebody with them. Make sure you go ahead and grab a pair of these, okay? There'd probably be a link down below to get them somewhere, depending on which country you're in. All right, so we're here, starting off on the arm. We're gonna go under, over, catch it, bring it over our head. And now, I'm not gonna count. We're just gonna go nice and slow. If this is your first time doing it, you're probably gonna miss it a lot. And like a frustratingly high amount of misses, and that's okay, because every time we do this, you're gonna get a little bit better. So let's start working on it and let's start trying to figure out what it is. Make sure you go all the way under that armpit and make sure you're blocking that side off to the catch. Bring it around the head and strike again. Under over. Bring it around the head. Again, I'm just gonna go really slow. I'll start to pick it up later, but I usually expect most people, if they're not pretty well trained in chucks, that they're gonna miss this one a whole lot, right? I missed this one a whole lot. I didn't like this one a lot at first. Now it's not really a problem. Of course, just like anything else, I will still miss it from time to time, but it's not that bad. Now I don't recommend you trying this with wood. If it's your first time trying it not gonna turn out well for you. I actually did learn this technique with wooden chucks and I had quite a few knots in the back of my head the first time I was doing this. Because I was like, oh, I don't need to use those specific chucks. I have these wooden ones. I made these wooden ones. They're better because I made them. And well, <laughs> it was wrong. And that's okay. 
case you're wondering, yes, I do make chucks. I have like a hundred pairs. I made them all types of wood. But these are what we're going to be using. They have a purpose. And that's so one, I don't get hurt. And two, I don't hurt the person that I'm sparring with. Cause it's fun to hit people with these, but it's not very fun if you actually hurt them and you know, they're your friend. Keep it going. Have you hit yourself enough times yet? No? Are you catching it pretty consistently? Hopefully you're catching it pretty consistently. If not, I said it's okay. I do expect this to be one of the frustrating ones. There's, there's a few. I would say there's like three that are just really frustrating at first. And once you get them, then you know, you'll get them. But they are, they're still quite frustrating. Actually, I think the most frustrating one for me is downward number five. I think that's the one that still, still makes me miss it the most. And I still get a little frustrated with it, but I don't hit myself on that one. So at least, you know, at least there's that. This one is one where if you mess up, you're much more likely to actually hit yourself. Keep it going. Okay, let's start to uh, pick up the speed just a little bit if you've got it. If you don't have it, Stay slow, figure it out, all right? If you've got it though, I want you to try to pick up the speed. Ready? Good. That was not the right one. Under, over. Notice how it's still going mostly sideways as I do this. Okay, shake arms out if you need to. Start speed that one up. That one for me starts to burn my shoulders pretty good. So I'm gonna open them up real quick. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to do a combination. So this combination is, of course, going to have that second side wish strike in it because we just learned it, so gotta practice it a little more. So this combination, actually, once you do it, I'm gonna tell you what it is, and then I want you to try it yourself before I show you. It is a sideways number two followed by a downward number two, followed by a sideways number one. And remember the reset is that third upward strike. And then we do it again, sideways two, downward two, sideways one. Got to figure it out. Good, so let's see. This is what it should look like. Downward two, bring it over the head. That was not a downward two, that was a sideways two, my bad. Then downward two, and then we go to sideways one and raise it up. And then it's going to repeat under over over the head downward two sideways one up for the reset got it let's go let's work it and begin under over over the head downward two sideways one up and reset side two down two side one up three, down two. I keep saying down two, that's side two, now down two. Now side one, up three. Side two, down two. Side one, up three. Side two, that was one, side two, down two. Side one, up three. Side two, down two, side one, up three, 
Keep it going. this going. I gotta, I gotta figure it out, right? I'm saying it, and then my body wants to just do something slightly different. It doesn't want to exactly do it right. So let's figure this out. Okay, if you figured it out, I want you to start pushing the pace. I'm gonna start pushing my pace as well. I want you to start pushing your pace. If you haven't quite figured it out, and you're still making a lot of mistakes, slow it down, work your technique, that's fine. But if you do have it, let's go and pick up that speed. Ready, begin. Side two, down two, side one, three, two, two, Three, two, two. Which one is that? <laughs> one, three, two, two, one, three, two, two, one, three. Not that one. Two, two, one, three, two, two, one, three, two, two, one. Three, side two, down two, side one, up three, side two, down two, side one, up three, side two. I know, I'm sorry if I'm getting a little bit annoying with the saying what I'm doing. It's the only way that I can really go fast without you know, constantly messing it up and doing something slightly different. Hopefully you had that figured out. Hopefully you're able to push that pace just a little bit to where you start to almost feel a little uncomfortable with it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do, and again, I'm gonna say it, and I want you to do it before I demonstrate it. So we're gonna start off with an inward figure eight, a small inward figure eight. And from that inward figure eight, we're gonna go to a grip. So we're gonna catch it. And then we're gonna to go to an up one, and then an up two, and then back to that small inward figure eight. Grip, up one, up two. Small inward figure eight, grip, one, two. Okay, so this is what it should look like. I got my small inward figure eight, and now as the chuck just finishes the outside circle and is coming to the inside circle, that's when I'm gonna grip. Then I'm gonna go up one, up two, and I'm gonna let go of this top one, and I'm bringing it to that figure eight, and now it's on the other side. After it finishes that outside circle, and it's coming in, I'm gonna grip it, up one, up two. All right, so let's get it. Inward figure eight, grip, one, two, inward figure eight. That wasn't that, right? Inward figure eight, grip, one, and two. Okay, figuring this out too. Inward figure eight, grip, up one, up two, inward figure eight. Grip, up one, up two. Figure eight. Grip, one, 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 two. Now I'm not gonna tell you how many times to figure eight. Do it 
feel it and be like, okay, here's my grip, my catch, my grip. You can do just a few. You just do one, two, and then up. That's fine. And you can do how many, however many you want. Okay, so this is a slightly easier one, hopefully. I want you to try to pick up the pace. The hard part in this one is probably just that grip because it's going at a slight angle and not completely straight like we had been practicing our gripping. So try to pick up the pace just a little bit and begin. Make sure this one is still keeping that circle really straight. So you bring it up, keep that nice and straight. Give it a few more. Okay, shake your arms out. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do speed strikes. So speed strikes is like what we've been doing for our gripping. We're doing strikes for speed. So we're going to do two rounds of one minute and our goal is going to be 60. And that's the, you know, what we want to try to get as our minimum. Ideally, we get higher than that. We're going to start this one off with the first strike that we learned, which is our upward number one strike. Okay. So we're going to count each one, one, two, but now make sure that as we're doing this, we're still going up that center line and we're not going way off to the side, right? You see that angle? I wasn't able to catch it because I went two angles. All right. So don't go too far here. Try to have it still right up that center line. I am not going to count for the first one. I will count for the second one, so you can try to beat me on that. But for the first one, I want you to try to get a hang of it and get that speed going, and I'll give you a little break in between. So, one minute. Ready, set, begin. So you're trying to do at least one per second. But you could probably do more than one per second. Keep this going. Try to go fast, push the pace. Don't push so hard that you're just dropping it constantly or missing it constantly. This is a pretty easy strike, in my opinion, to be able to beat this time. Uh, there are some strikes, right, in the upward two, that because of that circle, time. Because of that circle makes it so it takes a little bit longer. This is a very direct strike. Boom. It doesn't have any change of directions like, say, a variation strike would. So, relatively easy to beat but keep that in mind because we're going to be doing this with really all of our strikes and we're going to be trying to beat these times. So shake your arms out a little bit. I am going to be counting on my next one. I'm going to try to beat 60 and you're going to try to beat 60. And if we both beat 60, then you're trying to beat me. All right. I think you can do it. We'll see. 
warm up my hands real quick so I can catch it without making all of the mistakes. And for me too, if I have a timer and I can actually see the numbers, it makes it easier for me to like, oh, I need to speed up a little bit or to keep my pace consistent, all right? But I don't, I have it on my watch and it's hard to look at the watch while doing this. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay, I beat 60. Try to beat me again. 2, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 85, 86, 87. Okay, that's time. 86. I got 86. What'd you get? Did you get higher than me? If you got higher than me, let me know. But go ahead and take a second real fast. Comment down below, what'd you get on your highest of the two? I wanna know what you got on your first time doing the upward strike one for speed. All right. Go ahead, do that, do that now. Imagine elevator music playing. Now's your time. All right, cool, after you did that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to gripping, right? I think gripping, in my opinion, is a little bit harder than what we just did, uh, especially to hit these hit these numbers. So the last one I had you do one per second, right? which is why I was able to easily beat that because we can go a little bit faster than one per second. Gripping, just the first requirement already has you having to beat one per second, okay? So we're going to put 30 seconds on the clock and we're going to do three sets of 30 seconds. Same thing as before and the last time and the last time and the last time. I'm only gonna count my second time. I want you to count all three of them. Ready, set, begin. Number one, right over the other. Nice, small, flicking motions. Try to stay nice and relaxed. Don't death grip it. Just keep it going. dropped it and that's the reason I usually don't make my time time all right so that's time something like that is usually the reason why I don't actually make my times whenever it's happening it's not that my pace isn't good it's that uh, I go and I hit my thumb and because I was expecting a catch this hand releases it and now it's completely out of my hands and it's on the ground it happens okay so we're going to do another round in just a second and I'm gonna count this time my goal, as for previous ones, is gonna be 60. Your goal is to beat me, right? Or to at least beat 40. That's, a, that's your real goal. And like I said in, in the last time, if I can actually see the numbers for me, it's a lot easier because then I can really like apply the pressure. But sometimes if I can't see them, I'm just like, okay, I'm hoping that I'm going fast enough and I don't actually know but I don't want to push myself so hard that I'm dropping it consistently. So if you are having trouble with this, find a way so that you can view the numbers and that way you can really push it. I'll put on the screen somewhere the numbers for you, but when you're doing it, you might need something else if you're just practicing without this. Okay, ready? My finger's cold. Set, begin. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 61, 62. Oh, I don't know, I think it was going pretty hard. I think I might've got the 60 even with the drop. All right, so <laughs> maybe you noticed I, uh, I started rushing 
a lot to go faster to pick it up. I was trying to go at a pretty consistent pace that I knew or felt like would beat that 60. But after I dropped it, I was like, oh man, I really gotta make up the time for the drop. So I keep going. So you see, I drop it too, it's okay. It doesn't matter. And I, I do think I still beat my time, but sometimes when I'm going really fast and really hard, it's kind of hard to feel the vibration in my watch. So maybe, maybe not. I might've been right on it, we'll see. Okay, last one. I'm not gonna count, you're still gonna count, and we're going to beat those numbers, all right? Ready, set, begin. I just dropped it on my first one. Keep this going. Sometimes I kind of take this little stance too, and I lean a little forward, I bend my knees, All right. and time. And sometimes I think that stance can help me too, instead of just kind of like this relaxed stand up stance. Boom. Sometimes I feel I'm gonna kind of almost hunch over, bend my knees, bend my hips. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like that can help me. Maybe it helps you too. Who knows? Okay, so what do we cover today? In today's class, we reviewed our upward one through three, our downward one through two, our sideways number one, and our variation number one, and we kind of mixed it up and I called them out and you had to strike them once I called them out. After that, we learned a new strike, which was our sideways number two strike, going under to the over position. Again, this is one of the harder ones. From there, we did a combination. The first combination was sideways two, bring it over, downwards two, sideways one and using that upward three as our reset to the other side and then from there we did a second combination which was an inward figure eight we caught it with a grip we did an upward one and then we did an upward two let go of the top one and back to our inward figure eight after that we worked on our speed strikes so we did two sets for 60 seconds each trying to beat 60 upward strikes and after that, we did our gripping for speed. So we did three sets of 30 seconds. Your goal was to try to beat 40 seconds. Mine was 60. Now make sure if you didn't already, go ahead and comment down below what you got for your gripping and what you got for your speed strikes. I wanna know what you got for both of those. So hopefully you enjoyed today's class. If you did, you know, other than the comment that you already did, let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Make sure you like and subscribe, even though you've probably already done that, but press that like button at least, and I will see you in the next class. Have a great day.